Hello and welcome to Euchromedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to generate random numbers in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and this one is probably not the most exciting tip. However, I do find it very useful and so let me show you why. I'm gonna go inside this Euchromedia text and then select the source text and hit S twice to solo it and then Alt click on the stopwatch to activate the expression and inside here we can either type our expression in here or we can go to expression helper and then go to random numbers and then select this random. Now the way this works, uh, if I just let go of it right now, it's gonna give me a random number, but it's given me a random number between zero and one because I don't have anything inside these parentheses. So if I scroll through this, that's exactly what it's going on here. Now if I type something like 100, it's gonna give me a random value between zero and 100. So if I scroll through this, you can tell that it's doing exactly that. Now let's keep going with this. So what if I wanted a value between 100 and 500? So right now it's gonna give me a random value between 100 and 500. So it's not gonna go below 100 or higher than 500. So watch this. So that's working quite well. Now the cool thing about this, you can use it on any value, but also you can use it on arrays. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I can type something like this. So in the square brackets, I can say 10, 10 and then comma and then square brackets again and then in here I'll type 50 and 50. So if I let go you can see that it's giving me two numbers now which is awesome and you can call it out anytime so let's say I want an array index 0 and it's going to go to the first one. So you can do more than one array you can do three four and so on. Let me show you something else here so I'm going to do this so random numbers between let's do 100 and 400. So here's our numbers. Now what if I wanted to generate a random seed for each frame? So right now I have this value, but how do I change the seed of it? So to do that, we're going to add something extra to our expression. So we're, we're going to go here and then I'm going to hit enter to add space. And then inside here, I can either type it or go to expression helper and then go to random numbers and then select this seed random. So inside here where it says seed, we can change that to any value. So we can say five. Now watch what happens to our value here. So it generated a different number. So I can keep changing that to a different number. So let's do six and it'll keep giving me a different value. So that's pretty cool. Now the second portion of this is called timeless. Now right now it says false. And because of that, we have a different value for every single frame. But if I change this to true, now things change. So now we are stuck to one value. So it's only generating one value. And you can still, you know, offset the seed. For example, you can say eight and it's going to give you a different seed, but it's not changing for every single frame. So that can definitely be very useful. Now, the cool thing about this, you can animate the seed value. So right here, I'm going to just give it a variable, I'm going to say seed, and I'm going to define my seed here. So I'm going to say seed, you're going to be time divided by 0.5. Now, let me do this. I'm going to select this and copy it and I'll just type it right here. Okay, here's what happens when you do time divided by 0.5. It gives you still a value for every single frame. You know, th these decimals are animating and that's problematic. So if you round it up, or well, let's round it downwards. So I'm gonna say math period floor and then watch what happens now. So now zero holds on for a couple frames and then it changes and that one stays on for a couple frames and then changes. In other words, getting rid of decimals gave us something entirely different, which is exactly what I'm after for here. So I'm gonna select this and then copy it. And I'm gonna undo, we're gonna go back to where we were before. So now we're going to type that inside here. So math floor, time divided by 0.5. So watch what happens now. So every half a second, so right now we have this value, then halfway through our second, we have a different value, and then we'll have different value. So that can be interesting. It's almost like a stop motion and uh, random animation type deal. And then we can speed it up. We can say 0.2 and it's going to give us a value quicker. Now this can be interesting if you apply it to some property. So I'm going to select this, do control C, and then let's go to rotation. So hit R, I'll click on the stopwatch to activate the expression, control V to paste. And then inside here, let's do 90 and then negative 90. So it's going to give us a value between 90 and negative 90. So now watch this, almost like a stop motion effect. And we can, again, we can speed this up again. We can say 0.1 or we can slow down 0.5. 
So yeah, this can definitely be very handy. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.